In this video, I want to talk about effective note taking as software developer. This is another topic that might sound somewhat obvious, but I recently got asked how I do some note taking, how I especially write some summaries for um, stuff I'm learning and reading. And I want to show you just a few tips and tricks that are hopefully helpful. I, of course, love to spend my time in a command line and to use my keyboard to do things. So I basically have some files that are typically ASCII doc files, plain text files that I use where I have some shortcut um, to, for example, go into some clipboard folder where I use, uh, well, some files for some specific project, for example, opening up a new ASCII doc file in which I then just uh, uh, take some notes or especially have some next steps, especially that regards to some minor steps of a task that might be held in some different task list, but um, especially for these things, okay, what do I need to do next? Like which class to refactor, which method to implement and so on and so forth, which test to execute, like all these small details that we otherwise need to keep in our head. I love to have just some note such as a paper note uh, for myself. So the only reason why I don't use paper notes that most developers actually do is just I'm faster typing and I can copy and paste stuff around. So what I love to do uh, with that is actually in the i3 window manager that I'm using, there's a feature called Scratch, uh, scratch Pad for which if I use that, I can actually just uh, hit a keystroke and make this uh, disappear. And if I'm then um, in a different uh, window, I can just and make it appear right here as a scratch pad, like over my code, for example, uh, take some further notes, and then it uh, disappears again. So with that, I love to use keyboard shortcuts and um, terminal stuff for this. So this is actually very helpful. Um, also, these scratch pads can be used not only for uh, writing uh, files, but basically, you know, any window here uh, in this window manager. So I can, for example, use my uh, command line for these things and so on and so forth. So this works very well for just taking some random uh, temporary and quick notes or uh, things that I need to keep open or just have easily accessible. So that's literally just a replacement or a different way uh, of taking down some notes that I would otherwise have as paper. And with that, it's easy to copy and paste it around. You can further, for example, take some own uh, syntax. Um, you can have some emojis um, if you want and everything that just helps you. So sometimes I like to have just these approaches of taking any uh, notes that I need temporarily for working on um, on some tasks. So for example, when I have uh, some error here and I have an uh, exception that I cannot um, well explain myself, then I put some uh, hypothesis on what that could uh, be the root cause and then some test um, for try this and that and then see if it worked or not, or do something else. So just really have a more, well, engineering type of approach to solve some things. And this just really, really helps to have some notes that are easily um, accessible for that. And another thing that I, I love doing because it really, really helps in the long run is to take some something like a, a logbook or a journal for things I learned for some technical uh, decisions uh, for which of course, there's also um, a shortcut, or in my case, a, um, a shell alias, where I say, well, take some decision or some technical learning or anything that I just came across that I want to keep um, in my in my head. So for example, if I say, well, anything that I just learned how to, I don't know, do some stuff with a CSS or, well, you can read for yourself. So these are literally uh, just the things that I um, wrote down because afterwards I can go to uh, such a file and then just uh, grab and search and uh, see, well, um, actually if something uh, I learned or came across and um, well, take it from there. Many of my blog posts and videos I created uh, originated in something uh, that I just um, took down here and something that I learned on that day. And this I claim is true for any developer, like every one of us and of you has something that we learn new every day that we didn't do before. I mean, at least hopefully. So if that is not the case, well, I claim we need to change something else, but we learn some tiny new details every single day. And it really helps to take these uh, down to um, write a notes uh, for that or write them into our uh, logbook or journal or something. 
uh, because then later on we can use this again. Maybe there is some value in teaching this to uh, somebody else or write a short blog post or something um, else to use it further. So this is what I'm doing. Uh, and this just uh, helps me a lot to find this later. And what I also like to do, I like to take some summaries and write some very short summaries for my own if I'm learning a new technology or if I'm reading a book, for example, because this really, really helps me, first of all, to summarize something in my own words, as there is this quote by Albert Einstein, which I really love. If you can't explain something very simply, you don't understand it well enough. And this really means that, well, if you try to explain something or write something down in your own words, in your own terms, then you really need to uh, understand it in some way. So, for example, when I learned Kubernetes, I was writing down some, I don't know, what is the deployment, for example, the different concepts, trying to read the documentation, in this case, to understand the concepts first, to write them down and try to explain it in your own words. And then naturally some questions arise which then you can answer or look further. So this really, really helps in order to, you know, it's it's more like uh, studying or properly learning um, a thing if you write it down, if you try to summarize it for yourself. And bonus points, if you look into that later, and the same is true if you like summarize a book or uh, put some main notes of a book that really helped you or spoke to you, then you're able to literally repeat the whole thing and a few minutes in uh, 20 to 30 minutes and you get a really fresh view again as if you wrote the whole uh, read the whole thing uh, again which is really helpful so this is what i'm doing for taking taking down some notes when i'm learning some technologies when i'm uh, reading some books i usually have some uh, marker for a physical book that i take or mark something in a digital format and then you can uh, further on write this into such a file and for me that's um, also very pragmatic i usually use plain text files in an ASCII doc format or any other format if you're in the command line or if you use some editor, that really doesn't matter. And I claim this really needs to be effective, especially for these type of tasks or type of actions that you do. Definitely assign some keyboard shortcuts for them. Whether or not you use the command line, doesn't matter that much, but have it easily accessible so that, so that it doesn't add some additional effort for you. So now I'm curious which approach you prefer and use, so whether you prefer to write down something on paper or use similar uh, plain text notes or even use some online collaboration format or some other programs. So put this into the comments and if this was helpful, I would really appreciate if you liked the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.